right friends welcome to another tarot video it's a weekly energy read for the first week of august august 1st through the 7th since it is the top of the month we're going back to our illuminated love oracle i pulled at the top of this year one card for each month so for the month of august we have grounded in groundlessness let's begin I reside upon and within an ever-present foundation of unshakable love. This oracle comes as an invitation to ground you into the unshakable source within and around you. As you pause, welcoming your breath more fully into your body, you can attune to your true stability that is ever-present regardless of the dynamic circumstances of life. Take this moment and allow your consciousness to move through your feet and into the earth that you may feel the ground of your sacred body and then allow your awareness to continue through the earth until you root into the vast spaciousness of it all. When your sense of ground is rooted only within this earthly existence, it is easy to be shaken by the ebb and flow of life's impermanence. By remembering the truth of your star-like nature, you can sense that just as the rays of the sun are centered in their source, and simultaneously emanating out in all directions, you too are interconnected and supported in all ways. As your existence is anchored to the true foundation, you will move with an ever-increasing grace with all that life offers, even when it is uncomfortable. Grounded in groundlessness. And that, my friends, aptly describes the week ahead. I wish I could say it is going to be a killer, stellar, bomb week, and it, it might be. I'm not saying it's not, um, but there's a couple things I want to highlight as we go through the journey of this week. This focus on the body, right? There's a quote in this Illuminated Love Oracle that I loved, which was to pause and breathe in fully into your body and attune to the true nature of your structure, which is like, what is your body saying? So we're coming off a weekend, right? The last day of July is Sunday. And then we have the first day of August or uh, Monday morning. So a weekend reflection, maybe like how has the energy of practicality brought harmony. So something that was like done physically in a practical way has given way to some sort of good feeling. That's the wave we're riding into the week. And Monday, I think, is really going to feel very robust. Like Monday, people are going to start... They're going to hit the ground running with projects or with this new thing. I mean, that's new moon energy still following from the previous week, but it's going to be um, for some people, for a lot of people, an increase in vitality or physical strength. So again, we're talking about the physical realm, like what we're doing, how we're interacting with our world in a way that is either inspiring or just go get them. Maybe hitting that to-do list, top of Monday. I think there's going to be good energy for that. So while we're in that energy, something else is going to come up while we're on the trajectory of, oh, knew this, knew that. Look at how, look how I'm moving forward. And then feelings come in. And feelings are going to come in and they're going to say, is this a real feeling or is this an emotional need? And the ability to distinguish between those things will be this week's work. Like what is the emotional tension that is here because of work that hasn't been done yet or bypassing that's happened? I think that's Leo coming in to say, Leo energy, which is its Leo season, right? Look at me, I'm great. 
And it's true. Like, you are great. I'm great. You're great. We're great. We're all interesting, incredible, unique human beings. And while that's true, and Leo is the time to express that and to be proud of who you are, there's always the chance of the little bit of ego um, or pride to get in the way of actually doing the work. So this week, we do the work. And we do the work with such focus and in such attunement to how our body is feeling because the emotions and, and also physical tension and, and stress are supposed to tell us how we're feeling, like what clues to like what wants to change. So clearly if I'm having a reaction to something that you said, that's something I'm internalizing. That's something within me that needs to be addressed or wants to be addressed. It might not have anything to do with the thing the person said, although it might. That's the point, is how are you shaping your world? How are you shaping your relationships based on how you see the world, where you draw your faith from? Where do you place evidence of your truth? So this week is all emotions as evidence. It'll be fine. It'll be great. You'll see. Okay, I pulled the first three cards. We're working with the Wisdom of the Oracle now, and it's called... Um, or, well, called. It's a really great sort of fantastical sort of deck. This is my first Oracle deck. And I haven't used it in a while, so I thought I would just do the thing. We have Unfinished Symphony. Unfinished Symphony. Yeah. All that glitters. And higher power in reverse. This is giving me the message of like that one thing that you feel or think will bring you satisfaction. What is that thing you've been chasing that you're like, if I only had this, things would be so much better. How is that affecting how you behave? in the world like how is that causing you to make decisions that maybe aren't for the greatest good because we're going after things that are wanting you know our our conscious attempt to connect to a greater source of happiness or fulfillment and we may think that there are external circumstances preventing those things from happening but if we look closer Instead of all the way out there, we just look closer, right? This is the work of this week. Your higher power is in reverse. So how are you disconnected from your own power to have agency over this thing that you're going for? Are you spinning your wheels a little bit, trying to push forward, um, being stubborn in a way that that makes me feel like some of you are, some of us, oh, I could include myself in that, like where in your life are you stubbornly moving forward because you're seeing that there's only one way forward? Jupiter's in retrograde, so if you see an impasse, you gotta just go with the flow and redirect yourself. Um, because you'll find growth in unexpected places, and I think that that's what's wanting to show here is like trust that there is that you can make progress on your dreams moving forward if you do the work if stuff isn't moving externally you've got to go back inside and see how is my belief how my behavior impacting this situation how does my belief around what i'm capable of or what i deserve manifesting in the physical life that I have. Hmm. All right, let's see what is good. Yeah, what's the higher truth for 
your methods. Here we go, we have the moon showing up underneath. The moon is all about riding the wave of the unknown. This is things coming up in our subconscious, things needing to be dealt with, emotions, fears, make it a sense. And look, then we also have the five of wands. To me, this is like a bit of a white noise card, noise, this is like a lot of people wanting to express themselves, wanting to be heard. You need to, we need to quiet the external noise. There you go, and the king of swords. I would say that this is sort of like highlighting mental clarity or a mental process, thinking clearly about your emotions or the, that that is the work this week is to assess the difference between, is this a real, <laughs> is this a real emotion? Look at that, the Knight of Cups bringing us a feeling, bringing us a gesture, a romantic gesture possibly, or someone with a message of truth. Hmm. Is this a real feeling or is this an emotional need? The chariot, willpower, driving forward, forward movement, that's that Monday energy and the Knight of Wands. <laughs> Mm. Is this a real feeling or an emotional need? I feel like that, that for me really is shown by the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands because you know that it's something you want, that you really want, that you'd be willing to do anything for. But what is it satisfying within you? Four of Pentacles, reiterating the body, getting into the, like, wanting to understand this, the sensors of our body and how they work and what they mean. Queen of Pentacles, another body card. The Hermit, right in the middle, Virgo. Then we have the Queen of Swords, the Three of Swords, and Strength, Leo. This is a time of unlearning, certainly unlearning. Um, a lot of patterns or behaviors that do get held in the body. So like nervousness, tension, uh, when we talk about muscle memory, muscle memory is how me and maybe a lot of other people who play music can remember songs how to play certain songs, memory recall. But the muscle memory of our bodies is a little bit different or similar, but different, right? In that we want to shed the muscle memory of uh, reacting to, you know, if a person hurts us to react towards them negatively um, forevermore versus seeking forgiveness, um, you know, for like forgiving them for yourself um the the tr the physical trauma that the body holds on to after like a, a physically traumatic event like a car accident you know that stuff is like can lead to tension and headaches and problems in the body all like years later so it really is this week wanting to show us what is highlight what is being held in the body and how can you use your mental process this week to clarify for yourself what the real need is. What is it that you need? And this will take unlearning. Uh, this Three of Swords is about the broken heart, but I, I, I'm, I've been taking this Tarot School for Liberation class that's applying these anti-racist, anti-capitalistic, anti-patriarchal frameworks of ideas for the tarot and I love them and so the three of swords is was about unlearning um, I got this also from um, an Instagram channel account called um, politics and tarot unlearning you know if tarot is a tool for self-reflection then those things that I'm learning about for myself in order to bring to these videos, 
it's really about like organizing each week you know room for improvement that really leads to the world that I want to see that I want to create and that's the reason to do this work anyway and the one way you can participate in building a better world is to keep reaching and searching for your one great truth how does your faith or belief in the world shape your world I believe that there are many perceptions and many realities multiple realities so take responsibility for what you've created around you with what you had you know take responsibility but also like take some compassion along with that that's queen of swords energy equally compassionate as she is intellectual clear-minded she knows how to make clear decisions but not without some feeling there's a very very nice balance of mental stimulation um, mental prowess and honoring how we feel taking responsibility to unlearn how we've been taking care of ourselves and each other Leo's this strength card is is also about accepting our shadow selves like what about ourselves are do we have to work on like what is our spread of cards what is the hand that we've been dealt that's where we aim that compassion and the trajectory of this as it shows here this week is to just get in better touch with yourself and how you're feeling is this an emotional need or is this a real feeling and how is it manifesting in your life how can you take responsibility for what you've created and how can you change your behavior lean towards what excites and ignites you those are more real feelings than the things that make you feel anxious or small those things still need to be addressed right like why do we feel certain ways and react to things but how can you tune more into the passion and excitement the kind of creativity that leo season inherently activates supports wants to bring about all right i wonder what you all out there are doing with your new moon in leo energy this week and i do wish you lots of luck and i myself am going to do my best with what we have to work with thanks so much for watching subscribe if you want to see more energy videos i'll put one out every week so long as i can um, as well as videos for the new and full moon i'll keep it there thanks so much bye